Salutations everyone, welcome to another Overwatch 2 video where today we're going to be talking about Junker Queen, the new shiny toy that everyone's playing with. This is my very first game ever playing Junker Queen. First time I ever got to play Tank here in the second beta of Overwatch 2. Because uh, the queue times are absolutely crazy. Uh, worse than they ever were in the, in the first beta before like the open queue came out. And it's worse now for some reason, but... New tank and uh, you know DPS queues are also taking a long time. I'm talking like 10 to 18 minutes to, to not play support. So of course most of the time I am playing support. So Junker Queen is going to be used in the vast majority of games on both sides. So you can kind of get a general idea about playing with her and against her with the caveat of there's not a lot of interaction between Junker Queen and a non-Junker Queen tank. So like that's the missing part of the equation. As a DPS or as a healer, we have a really good idea of what it's like to play with and against a Junker Queen. But since people are only playing Junker Queen, uh, we're missing those interactions and how she'll actually stack up. So she's a fun character. Everyone's talking about how, how fun she is and how well her kit works. You know, first tank, you know, made with 5v5 in mind. And she's, she's got a really good kit. I was wondering if we were ever gonna get another shotgun character. I mean, obviously, uh, you know, Reaper's got two shotguns, and, uh, you know, Rogue Hog is like a scrap gun, more so. Uh, but she is, like, the first, like, traditional shotgun player, uh, at least, um, you know, when it comes to what you think of when, in an F for FPS shotgun. And it's pretty powerful. You can one-shot a squishy if you full headshot in the head. Um, which, yeah, sure, that's not going to happen too often. But... Uh, she's not a bad tank. She's definitely not a bad tank. I think people are overblowing uh, their reactions to her a little bit because people aren't seeing how weak she is to other tanks that aren't Junker Queen. And oddly enough, the tank that I see the second most amount of the time during this beta so far is Roadhog, which, again, they have yet to win a single game as Roadhog. And, uh, you know, they'll just continue to throw. And people think that Roadhog is a good pick against Junker Queen because she can be hooked easily. They're wrong. They're, they're just wrong. It's just he's not a tank. He's just not a tank. So it's, it's not, not going to be that successful. Um, so obviously playing against another Junker Queen the majority of the time. Uh, actually, the enemy switches to a Winston here because they were getting Queen Diffed, as the kids would say. Um... That doesn't work out for them because uh, Winston is such a difficult tank to use at the lower ELOs. And yeah, I'm going to solo ult a Mercy here, but you know what? I'm looking for the win con, right? And for the most part, it's killing the Junkrat because Junkrat is insane. If you didn't, uh, if you haven't seen my previous videos talking about the beta and footage of me as Junkrat and just my overall anecdotal evidence, Junkrat is insane. Fastest charging ult in the game and the best ult in the game. Let's just be real. It's the best ult in the game, uh, especially for 5v5. One less person to stop it. And yeah, people are fucking vulnerable. And one or two kills means a lot more in Overwatch 2 than it does in Overwatch 1. So the tire is insane. And obviously his choke damage. I mean, he'll always be good on this map. That's just, that's just how it's going to be. I don't know why... We have a Symmetra here. Maybe they're just checking out the rework, but it's not really working that well. But I do have a much better team with me than the enemy team. That makes things a bit easier, especially with, with this Winston uh, not being something that can contest against Junker Queen because she does more close-up damage. Uh, she can blade him, she can axe him, and she can do just she can just do everything against him, and he can't do much against her, right? She can. Out heal him, outspeed him. He's got, you know, the 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 maneuverability with his leap, but without that, um, he's he's just not gonna not gonna have a good uh, head head to head matchup against her. And that's really what it comes down to for every tank in this game. How do they match up against the other tanks? Drunker Queen is a fiend at going against squishies, uh, especially with her rallying cry thing to give you a tiny bit of speed boost. It's not super noticeable. With some characters, uh, but with other characters, like, yeah, okay, I feel like I'm 15% faster. It's not ginormous. Obviously, the healing is a much bigger deal um, for that part of the equation. But 
that kind of a uh, sustainability and a little of extra speed uh, can definitely go a long way. So as long as we kill the Junkrat, things are going to be just fine. That's just how this game is going to end up going as we 2-0 uh, this enemy team, I do believe. And I don't know why the Ana and the, and the Cassidy both jumped off the map there. That I, I didn't get a good look at that. And I think something similar happens later on in the match as well. But so people are really, really high on Junker Queen because A, she's fun and B, people are having a lot of success with her. But again, because they're going up against other Junker Queens that are just worse, you know? I mean, this is my very first game as Junker Queen. because So you can see I don't have all the combos down. And you can do a lot of nice little mix-ups with her when it comes to her knife, her melee, the axe, as well as shooting. So different combos of using all of those abilities at once can be very effective. She's just not going to be great head-to-head -head against other tanks. She can do okay versus Doomfist. Um, obviously, you know, he's an easily CC-able character when he power blocks, um, which makes him a great sleep target for Ana. But I can tell you, as playing a lot of Ana against Junker Queen, she's not easy to sleep. She doesn't have, uh, you know, any uh, movement skills outside of the tiny speed boost, but she's just very slender, and things are going to be very chaotic with her as the tank on any team. So she's not a super duper easy sleep target like Doomfist or Roadhog. And she, uh, she, she, like Orissa, she is just great at just running out of squishy and deleting them one, two, three at a time. Uh, but the problem is with Junker Queen, people are, they're just too high on her because they're only seeing her against other Junker Queens. You know, maybe a Doomfist, maybe a Roadhog, but people aren't using Sigma, they aren't using Reinhardt, they aren't using Orisa, which Junker Queen can't deal with. Um, sh if she gets a Mercy Pocket and the enemy Rhine or Sigma doesn't, yes, she'll beat them. Like I said, Mercy, as well as Bastion, to a lesser extent, uh, they are an enabler. They can make a bad matchup a great matchup just merely by existing and doing what their kit does. So, and, and we have both of them going here, but you know, the Winston ults, and that was a smart choice, so I'm going to go ahead and die to an ult here again. Half of my deaths in this match are to ultimates. And uh, mostly due to the Junkrat as a whole. So I think that's the last time that I do die there. Yeah, so that's two tires and a, and a Primal Rage. As Our Zen gets a couple of kills to clean up here. But uh, having played... I, I mean, I've, I've only been able to play tank like twice outside of a backfill for four seconds. Because that's just how quick play is, especially in the beta. Even more so, I'm getting like 12 teammates a game because... Everybody's leaving all the time, and I don't quite understand it, even if we're winning. Shit's weird, right? So, um, I've been able to play some games as... Uh, okay, I played one game as Sigma against a Junker Queen, and I lost. Um, she is an easy accretion target. Let's not get it twisted. She shouldn't be a great matchup against him because he has a shield that should block everything that she does, as well as an easy tool to deal with her as she has no movement abilities, right? So she is a super increasing target, but I mean, they had a mercy pocket and I didn't. So that was kind of just an L. Um, and it was also on a push game mode. So like, I think Junker Queen's gonna be good on a few maps, um, but she's just gonna be a, a niche pick. Um, she's gonna be better than Doomfist in some situations where Doomfist is good as we have a party on the enemy mercy here. Um, but Roadhog can't do anything against her. Winston can't really do anything against her. Uh, Diva has an interesting matchup against her. They don't usually fight each other. They just kind of like try to go after what they are good at going after against um, against one another. But uh, she definitely has glaring weaknesses. She has no shield. Um, so unless she has a mercy pocket and the enemy team doesn't, Reinhardt, Sigma, Orisa, she, she can't deal with them. And people aren't seeing that just quite yet. But she's good and usable in a few maps where your close quarters are going to be going to be good. Your control maps, especially, and her ultimate is a team fight annihilator. And uh, it, it's it's fun to play her. I'm not gonna not gonna lie about that. But she isn't going to be meta defining. She'll be better the lower rank that you are. I'll be interesting. It'll be interesting to see if she's ever used at all in Overwatch League. But I'm thinking maybe not, uh, unless people still want to. Go with a Doomfist style now that Doomfist is a bit nerfed, but we'll talk about him in a later video.